Hello everyone, in this video I'm doing a quick unboxing of the Seasonic uh, Focus Gold Plus. Um, this is a 80 plus gold certified uh, power supply unit for the uh, PC and uh, it comes with a 10 year warranty. And the Gold Plus, uh, Focus Plus Gold model is fully modular and uh, this one is 550 watt rated. Um, so. Uh, unfortunately, I bought this power supply to go with my new Ryzen 9 CPU and that CPU is actually on pre-order. So I'm just going to go ahead and unbox everything else before the CPU comes. So when the CPU comes, I can just go ahead and do a quick installation of all the parts um, that I have unboxed uh, earlier. So um, this is actually not my first Seasonic unit. actually. What is currently in my PC right there is a Seasonic, I think, um, I'll post the model number um, in the description. I, I can't really recall the names right now on the uh, in my mind. But uh, so I've had Seasonic units, power, power supply units in all my PCs. Uh, so my wife's PC is also using a Seasonic unit inside. It's being super reliable. And uh, I've had this PC for about five years now, so I think it's time to actually um, give it a fresh upgrade on the power supply when the new Ryzen 9 comes in. So, gonna open up the box and see what's inside. And usually, the Seasonic unit is very well packaged with lots of uh, nice additions to the power supply. So, over here you have a free $25 Steam um, e-gift card. That's very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside. And uh, there's a $25 value right over there. So the user manual is right here. And uh, your usual, they give you a lot of cable ties and a lot of those Velcro cable ties, which is really useful um, for if you want to really um, get your PC case organized inside. So over here, I don't really know what this exactly is, but it looks like a um, an adapter of some sort. Okay, so your power cable and a nice bag full of modular cables. So we're gonna open it up and take a look and see what's inside. A whole bunch of different cables. Let's see. So over here is your SATA and uh, traditional 4-pin cable. I think it's called Molex um, right over here. And uh, over here I think is mainly your CPU cable and the PCI Express cables. Okay. Over here is the power unit itself. Another, another, <laughs> another, another case. That, that's, um, they use a lot of those pouches. So very well protected. And over here is the PSU itself. Um, I've always loved Seasonic's design. So this one is no exception. It just looks really great. And uh, one thing I don't get it is uh, they usually have kind of a reversed uh, um, printout on the uh, on the on the front panel. That's that's something weird because right here, you know, it's it's this way and then if you go over here it's reversed it's pretty weird um and i think you actually install it this way so the fan actually is sucking air and blows it out from the the back panel over here um so there's the warranty seal so a couple of screws protecting it over there and uh, over here you have a little button uh, that's the hybrid mode. So if you turn the hybrid mode on, the fan turns off when it's when it doesn't have much load or when the temperature is low. If you have the hybrid mode off, the fan is constantly on. But usually the Seasonic fan is very, very quiet. And this one, it says it uses a fluid dynamic bearing 122, uh, 120 millimeter fan. So it should be very quiet later on when we, uh, when we test and find out. It should be very quiet. Seasonic logo right over there, 100 to 240 volt global power supply unit, and the Gold Plus logo right over here. And over here on this side, let's actually flip it over. So 
you have your motherboard connection right over here. They nicely labeled, so that's that's at least a pretty nice. Your CPU or PCI Express connection right over here. And a couple more connection spots. Uh, this is your peripheral, the ID cables and the SATA cables. So which is uh, the cables right over here. So let's actually open up and see how many cables they've included. All right, I just laid out everything over here and this is all the cables included. So actually pretty basic stuff. You have your motherboard cable over here. You have your uh, CPU cable over here, which is actually just a PCI um, Express connector, I believe. Um, but they marked the CPU because your motherboard needs this 8-pin connector. So CPU and motherboard is settled over here. And uh, your main power cable is right over here. Uh, over here, you have a little um, floppy connector. So this is for the very vintage floppy disks. I don't think anybody's gonna use. That's why they included separately on a Molex um, adapter. Over here is the Molex um, cable and uh, it's got one connection with a three output um, on a single cable line. And over here is one of the SATA cable connection. This is uh, one outlet with two SATA, um, one connection with two outlets another SATA cable this is one connection with four outlets so you have a total of six SATA connections and at the very end is the PCIe cable unfortunately it's it's just one connection with two 8-pin outputs so I have a um, NVIDIA 1080 Ti the titanium and I'm not sure if this one single line is gonna pull it I mean I think it can do it but it's just gonna probably overheat uh, the single connection spot. So what I'm going to do later is probably find another connector and uh, just do a uh, two of the eight pin connection on two of the separate spots over here. And uh, that way it should offload some of the um, the heat uh, generated from the, uh, the graphic card. And uh, again, this is a 550 watt unit. So generally my, this, uh, this is my old machine, which is a i7-6850, six core processor. It actually uses more power than my new processor, the Ryzen 9. Um, so when I get the Ryzen 9, theoretically, it should use less power. And uh, right now the power consumption on the processor while not in game is, I'm gonna show you guys really quick, is 178 watts. So 178 watts, that's, that's pretty efficient. Uh, in terms of power consumption and uh, if I'm gonna do gaming it you can probably add another watt uh, another 100 watts into the machine so let's just give it a really quick try to see what the exact power consumption is um, so I'm gonna open up my overwatch and just uh, load up the game really quick and I'm just gonna go into a a training and uh, let's see let's go to practice range and just check the power consumption when during the game so right now you can see my fps i manually set it to 100 so it syncs with my monitor even though this is a g-sync monitor but um temperature cpu temperature is still 56 is going up because it just starts to heat up so now the processor now the graphic card is working you can hear the fan uh, starts to spin up and this is the actual power consumption so about 300 300 watts to 320 watts and uh, that is gonna be the assumed similar output with the new processor uh, maybe a little less maybe around 300 I would say so um, with this processor it says at the best most efficient is at 50% load so uh, that's gonna be I think 225 watts but this is gonna be more than 50% load but still I think it's still gonna be uh, pretty efficient um, in terms of the power output and extra wasted heat generated from the power supply. Okay, so I should be able to handle it, but I wish they actually included two PCIe cables so I can run the 8-pin on two separate um, connectors over here. So later on when the processor comes, we're going to actually plug this in and then do a uh, 
analysis and see how much power the new processor is consuming and whether the uh, the PSU is going to be able to handle the job just fine. But I'm pretty sure it's going to handle it just fine. So um, if you guys are interested, when my new processor, processor arrives, do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. So when I post uh, the installation for the new processor, uh, you guys can actually take a look and see what's going on. Okay. Um, at the very end, I'm just going to quickly go through the features of this um, this power supply unit that they advertise on the back of the unit. So, of course, it's a compact size power supply box. Very, very compact, very small. And uh, 120 millimeter FDB fan, fluid dynamic bearing. So it's, uh, it's less noise and longer lasting. So the hybrid fan that I mentioned, so it doesn't turn on unless the temperature goes high enough. And you have, of course, uh, aluminum electrolyte solid capacitors, Japanese source, the made in Japan capacitors. I mean, most uh, manufacturers nowadays use use those solid capacitors. Uh, tight voltage regulation, they claim plus minus 3% on the uh, 3.3, 5 volt and 12 volt line. Uh, active PFC, uh, power factor correction, up to 99%. So ample 12 volt output, enhanced 12 uh, volt plus current capability border. Uh, Borden's utilization possibility, blah, 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 which, which just basically means you can load more stuff. DC to DC converter design. Um, apparently, this is a better design for the power supply unit, I believe, from where I read before. Uh, cable free connection. So that just means um, um, it it's using those. Uh, I believe it's using those uh, modular designs. So gold plated high current terminals. Let me see if it's actually gold plated. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I don't, I don't see any gold on the terminal. Do I see gold here? Not really. So it's, it's not gold plated. So I believe it's something that they use inside the PSU, the terminals that are gold plated, maybe. Um, but none of those stuff are gold plated. So keep that in mind. And uh, multi-GPU technology supported. Um, so it, it comes with a six pin and an eight pin. Actually, it comes with um, it comes with uh, two eight pin um, connectors over here. So they might have a typo over here when it says six pin and eight pin PCIe connectors, um, or maybe they meant that it can be used either as a six pin or an eight pin. But it comes with two connectors. Okay, and the ten year warranty. So I actually used their warranty before. Uh, they're very good at uh, honoring their warranties when their PSU is bad. So one of my Seasonic uh, unit actually, um, I think, starts to turn my motherboard off and actually fried my motherboard. <laughs> uh, that's pretty bad. Anyway, I sent the PSU back and uh, they actually give me a brand new unit. Um, so that's how much I trust them. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not because of the PSU that fried the motherboard, but actually the motherboard itself was faulty. Uh, that's a reason that the whole setup was uh, what what went bad. Um, in terms of the reliability of the Seasonic P PSU, I have been using them for years, and uh, so far they haven't caused me any trouble at all. And I know they will honor their ten year warranty pretty good. So with that with that said, we're gonna find out sooner or later whether the CPU is gonna work or not. All right, so that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching at, uh, this quick unboxing. If you guys have any questions about uh, uh, this power supply in particular, uh, do feel free to ask me in the comments section down below and uh, I'd be happy to answer those questions for you guys. And if you think this uh, unboxing is uh, helpful to you, please do hit the like button or subscribe. And uh, thank you so much again and uh, take care.